You yourself posted on your, your um, I guess it's kind of like a web page. I don't quite understand what Substack is, but. If she doesn't understand what Substack is, should she really be on the House subcommittee asking questions about the Twitter files? She's on a congressional subcommittee. Not knowing what you're talking about is basically a requirement. Which is almost as insulting as the fact that Congress would convene a hearing to challenge journalists for doing journalism. It must be for a good reason, though. Yeah, to protect the censorship industrial complex! As the Twitter files revealed, Twitter worked hand-in-hand -hand with the state, carrying out requests to censor certain kinds of content. What kind of content? Misinformation? No, the exact opposite. Thanks to journalists like Matt Taibbi, we now know that Twitter actively suppressed true information and relevant commentary about COVID. The lab leak, vaccination side effects, debate over lockdowns, and the public policy response. I could have told you all that if me and my gator hadn't had our Twitter account suspended. Twitter, Facebook, Google, and other companies developed a formal system for taking in moderation requests from every corner of government. The FBI and Department of Homeland Security used their access to high-ranking officials inside Twitter to recommend censorship actions. Twitter itself was filled with employees who used to work for the FBI. Now, some of the censorship was legit, but a lot of it targeted people who had questioned the government and or leftist causes. They targeted people who'd committed no crimes, people who had never posted false information of any kind. Why hasn't this been all over the news? Why am I only learning about it now? LOL, Sarah. Why would the news media, deeply entwined with the government, ever report this? That's a solid tweet. Boom. Instead, the government will hold sham hearings like this one. Fact check, false. The hearing happened. Actual representatives elected by the people oversaw, attended, and spoke at the hearing. Those are their faces. Those are their real voices. They are not imposters or deepfakes. This is as real as it gets, not a sham. No shame. Neither this hearing or any other hearing antithetical to the interests of Fact Check Incorporated can be considered a sham, officially defined as any content Fact Check Incorporated has found to be misleading or incorrect. Furthermore, social media companies have worked tirelessly to keep you safe and free from deception and only allow legitimate information on their platforms. Any insinuation to the contrary shall be considered Russian misinformation, disinformation, or malinformation. The work of Russian agents and a violation of this platform's terms of service. Prime Warp Putin. Recent surveys show 100% of active users who have not yet been banned wholeheartedly agree. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Hit that subscribe button, leave us a like, let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Share this around with your friends. Help the channel grow. It's a little poem I wrote.